Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add social network page into your app. The social network page helps your app users to experience the benefits of networking by letting them post updates, comments, or like posts. Now let's see how to add the page. Now let's add the social network page into your app. Click on view all here. Search social network and add it. If you want, you can change the page name from here. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Once you have selected or uploaded the icon, click on OK. Now let's move to Payment Settings section. Here you will see two options, free and in-app purchase. If you want to charge your users to access the social network, you can select in-app purchase, else you can leave it free. In-app purchase, you need to provide Android and iOS payment credentials. You can refer to our tutorial, How to Activate In-App Purchase, here to find out your Android and iOS payment credentials. Copy and paste the values here. Now enter the one-time payment value that you want to charge from the app users. From here you can change the currency type. Next comes page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page background and layout as per your needs. If you want you can either select an image solid color from our wide library or upload your own custom background image. Once done, click on OK. Now let's move to Advanced Element Customization section. From here, you can change the page element's color, font style, font size, and indent as per your needs. Here I'm making a few changes which you can check on the simulation window. If you want to hide border, tick mark this checkbox. Uncheck this checkbox if you want to disable video posting from the social network page. If you want to display full image to users, tick mark this checkbox. Uncheck this checkbox if you want to disable users to post private message. If you want, you can enable or disable back navigation button on header by tick marking this checkbox. Once done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.